If you're facing the issue called system UI not responding on your Samsung Galaxy phone, then this video is going to show you how to fix it. The problem could be software related or some hardware issue, so you can try out these two solutions to fix the problem. For the first solution, we can clear our system cache. For this one, we need to go to our system settings or the settings app of your phone, then scroll down a bit and go to the app section over here. So this is the app section, tap on it, and then let's search for our Android system. Go to the search panel and first let's select the filter option over here and make sure to enable show system apps from here. After that is done, let's hit OK and search for Android system. So here is the Android system options. Let's select the first one over here and scroll down a bit and go to storage. After that, let's choose click here cache and then go back and go to the second Android system option and choose this one as well and clear the cache for this one as well. After clearing the cache for both of your Android system, give your phone a simple restart and see if that fixes the problem or not. If our issue is still persisting, then we can try out the next solution. So let's say the system UI not responding error is completely made your phone stuck. For example, your phone is not working at all and is completely stuck. So what you can do is press and hold down to the volume down button and the power button together to completely shut down your phone. This is a force shutdown option, just press and hold on to it. Even if your phone is not responding, your phone will definitely shut down if you hold on to it long enough. So as you can see, my Samsung phone has shut down. Once your phone has shut down, you will need to press the volume up button over here and the power button together for a few seconds to get the Android recovery mode. If you don't have the Android recovery mode option available, then your phone might restart like this. But even if it does restart, we can simply shut it down again and try the process again. So I'm just going to shut down my phone once again. So after I have shut down my phone once again, let's go back here and press the volume up button and the power button together to get the Android recovery mode. If you're using a base variant Samsung, you will need to press the volume down button and the power button together. For me, I'm using an ultra series model. So I'm just going to press and hold on to the volume up and the power button. Eventually, the Android recovery mode option should appear. Don't let go of the button for 10 to 20 seconds and even if you see the Samsung logo, do not let go of the button. Press and hold on to it and eventually you will see a page like this. This is the Android recovery page. From here, you have to use your volume buttons to navigate. Your volume up button will let you go up, your volume down button will let you go down and your power button is the selection tool. So scroll down to wipe cache partition from here and choose your volume, I mean your power button over here to select it. After that, scroll down and choose yes and then use your power button again to select yes from here. After you have rebooted your cache partition, choose the reboot system now from here and press the power button over here again and your phone should restart after this and hopefully your problem will be gone and your system UI issue will be gone as well. So guys, that's how you fix it if your Samsung Galaxy phone is giving you the system UI not responding error. If you found this tutorial helpful and want more tests like this for your Samsung phone, then be sure to subscribe to this channel and as always, thanks a lot for watching.